I've wanted to work on one of these mechanical iris projects for a while and I've looked at different plans and I stumbled on to this one on Instructables. This is by Carl Bass and he's got the plans and the designs for this mechanical iris. So what I did was I brought these into Inkscape as well as a couple different programs to kind of play around with the files and then created some plans in Inkscape to, to cut. So basically we've got two pages here. These are the diameters. This is the diameter of my CNC cutting area, this little 3040 CNC. This is about 14 and a half or so by nine. So we've got our parts here with our tabs. And then for the back, we've got that piece there. This is going to be cut on quarter inch Baltic birch plywood picked up at Michaels. And then we'll see how this assembles. For all of the toolpath work, I use JS Cut. Really awesome free program. I've got a lot of other videos on using it, so I won't go into detail here. But it can run in your browser. You can also download it and run it locally, which is what I do through a virtual machine. But it's a great piece of software, totally free, and works really well. And these are my notes just for this little project. It's real simple. It's just two cuts, so we can keep this kind of condensed and not take up too much time. We're using quarter inch ply and 0 .0625 for the end mill. It's a little teeny guy right there. So let's get the wood loaded up and open up mock. first file all cut out. This line got a little bit tight to the outside. I think it'll be plenty strong for what we're doing here, but that would be easy to jump back into Inkscape and make this just a little bit smaller. But everything looks pretty good. Everything is cut through. Got our tabs. So let's bust these out, sand them up a little bit, and move on to the next file. This just shows the parts laid on top of each other. Nothing has been attached yet. There's the finished iris. Kind of cool project. It's really neat to see this come together. For these, I used some pieces of brass rod that I had laying around. These are just screws holding this down. The reason it's elevated is because those screws go through, they need to be filed off. But cool design. So through the instructables, the plans are there, at least the DXF files. I had a little trouble with the backing plate, I had to change a few things on there. But as far as using a little CNC to cut these out, certainly doable. Fun project. Thanks very much for taking a look.